Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to be talking about five signs that she's not over her ex, and you're probably a rebound. So if you've ever been a rebound, or you've ever sought out a rebound, you probably know these things all too well. Often when people get out of a relationship with someone, instead of healing from it, so that they can properly move on to the next person, they rush into something with someone else when they're not necessarily ready for it, as a quick fix and a band-aid to a deeper problem that they really Really need to heal and get over. So being a rebound is way more common than I think people realize. I feel like a lot of people today are constantly looking for instant gratification and the next thing. So I want to make sure you guys are not experiencing that and I also want to make sure that you guys are not going for someone that's going to be a rebound for you because it's not healthy. You need to really take a step back look at your past relationship, figure out what went well, what didn't, maybe have a little bit of self-awareness so that you can heal from it and properly move on in a healthy way so that your next relationship can be amazing because I promise rushing into a new relationship is not the answer. So in past videos I did, like the red flag video, girls not to date, the girl who jumps from relationship to relationship and who is constantly going from one guy to the next is a huge red flag and should be a red flag for you guys if you're dating someone. Um, so these are gonna be some signs that you should look out for, some things to pay attention to. If you're seeing any of these, these are big red flags that she's not over her ex and sadly, you're a rebound. The issue with girls like this or just people like this in general is that they can't be happy alone and like I said, they're constantly looking for the next best thing to fill some void that's going on and and it's a band-aid, it's a quick fix, and it's not healthy. So I think that's the main issue with it. And at the end of the day, nobody wants to be a rebound and I wanna make sure that you guys are not falling victim to that. So sign number one that she's not over her ex is that she talks about him. So if you're entering a new relationship with someone, it should be about learning about that person, getting to know each other. And I understand that exes can maybe come up in conversation. I think it's actually really insightful to ask maybe why something didn't work out with someone Someone, but if she is name dropping him all the time, constantly bringing him up, constantly talking about him in some way, shape, or form, this is a huge red flag. The conversations, if you have any about her ex, should be short and simple and should not be a reoccurring topic that gets brought up again and again. So if you notice that it's getting brought up all the time, if she's constantly saying, well, my ex did this or my ex did that or I hated when my ex did this or talking about how crazy he was or really just anything about her ex in excess, that's when it becomes an issue. And the reason why this is a big deal is because if she's bringing him up all the time, she's either trying to justify in her head why things didn't work out, maybe she's trying to justify why she's with you now, um, she's trying to relive past situations or compare you to him. It's really just a mess and if you notice that her ex's name is brought up in conversation a lot, I don't think this is a good thing and I think there's a time and place for that, like I said before, in the beginning when you're figuring out you know, why things didn't work out. I think it's nice to know that, but that's the extent of it and that's as far as it should go. Number two, she's keeping tabs. So if she is constantly checking in on what he's doing, keeping tabs on his life, even though she's not a part of it anymore, this should be a big red flag for you guys. And the biggest issue with this one is that sometimes you won't even know that she's doing this because chances are she's doing this in secrecy on her phone. Maybe she's looking him up on social media. Maybe she is stalking him on an Instagram stalker app. I don't know, whatever the heck she could be doing. I think it's important when you're out of a relationship to completely sever ties and to cut them off cold turkey and if she's constantly you know if she's still following him on social media constantly liking his posts watching his stories seeing what he's doing seeing what job he's working at uh, what new girl he's talking to if she knows every detail about this new girl in his life's life big red flag guys. So like I said, you might not even know that she's doing this because chances are she's just doing it on her phone in her own time. But if she's bringing it up to you, if she's saying little things um, about him, or if she knows things about his current life that maybe she shouldn't know at this point, I think that's when you need to kind of take a step back and be like, okay, why does she know that? They've been broken up for five months. She shouldn't know this about him. And I don't want you guys to overanalyze or go through her phone or be crazy. Please don't do that. I never will promote toxic behavior on this channel. So really, if she's just bringing things up to you that she wouldn't know unless she was creeping and keeping tabs, this is not good. If all of a sudden she tells you, my ex has a new girlfriend and she's ugly, 
run for the hills because she's keeping tabs on him. She is still comparing herself to someone new that he's dating. She's keeping tabs on everything that he's doing. And she knows enough about him to know that he's dating someone new. And that just should not be the case if she's in a relationship with you. She should not feel the need to keep tabs on her ex-boyfriend. Number three, she's hesitant with you. So sometimes when a girl rushes into something with you and she wasn't necessarily over her ex, she can have a hard time committing to you and feeling serious with you and moving on to those next steps with you because she still has feelings for someone else. You might even notice that she's kind of weird about physical contact with you because she's so used to being with someone else that it just doesn't feel natural to her to even do that with another person. So she'll be a little bit standoffish. She won't let you touch her. She might just be really hesitant to do things with you. And this goes past just physical things. I think this is more about just the relationship in general. This could be committing. This could be making next steps in your relationship, moving the relationship forward. And the reason for this is that it could be because she still has some glimmer of hope that she's going to get back together with her ex-boyfriend. And again, you're just a rebound and a placeholder. So she's very hesitant to move forward with you because she still deep down wants to be with her ex. And just because she's doing these things does not 100% mean that she's not over her ex-boyfriend, but I think it's important to communicate about this. So maybe if you're in a conversation with her about her commitment issues and she brings up the fact that, you know, something happened in her past or her past relationship, I think that's a big red flag because it should signify to you that she's not over that and she needs to heal from that in order to be able to move forward with you and she can't really heal from the person before you if she's with you so just something to keep in mind next up she still talks to him so i feel like i am pretty lenient about guy friends and girlfriends and just having friends of the opposite sex in general However, there is a line that should not be crossed in order to set boundaries with your partner. And one of those lines is talking to your ex. If you are in a new, fresh relationship with someone, or you've even been dating someone for some period of time, there is no reason why that person should be talking to their ex-boyfriend. So even if things maybe ended on good terms with her ex and you know they don't completely hate each other, how can you move forward into a fresh new relationship if you're still hung up talking to your ex and letting that linger? I just don't understand how that could add any value to her life and especially not yours. So the quick answer here is you can't. You cannot move forward with someone if your ex is still lingering in your life. And ultimately it just means that she's not over him. I don't see any value in having your ex as a friend or having your ex in your life. Maybe if you have the same friend group and you don't want things to be awkward, you can kind of be acquaintances, but you should never be having a one-on-one -on -one texting conversation with them or making your new partner feel uncomfortable about that. If she really wanted to move forward with you and have a fresh, new, healthy relationship with you, she needs to leave her ex in the past and not bring him into everything she's still currently doing. So something to consider. I know some of you might have different boundaries, but just personally, Personally, I would never put my partner in a situation where I'm still talking to my ex. I just think it's disrespectful and it's a weird boundary that I just wouldn't cross. Number five, their pictures are still on social. So I feel like I need to explain this one a little bit, so stick with me. I'm not saying the day after they break up, she needs to go through her entire Instagram and get rid of any trace that he ever existed in her life and make it look like they never dated. I don't necessarily think that that needs to happen. However, I think when you move on to a relationship with someone new, it's time to let the old photos go. Especially the photos of them hugging or kissing or holding hands or doing lovey-dovey stuff or that have a very mushy-gushy caption. I just think it's weird to keep those up on your social media if you're in a relationship with someone new. And again, I think this is something that's going to vary from person to person and if you're okay with this or not, but often, just trust me on this one, I have found that girls don't want to delete photos of their ex because of the fact that they're still holding on to some glimmer of hope there and like I said before, you're just a placeholder. I think often people keep photos up when they aren't necessarily ready to let go of that part of their life. And the delete button is kind of like the physical version of saying, okay, I'm moving on from this chapter. So if they're not able to do that, it often means that they just aren't ready to close that chapter yet. And they're still healing from it and they're not over it. So in that case, you shouldn't be with them. 
And just a personal story here for reference so you guys can kind of understand what I'm talking about a little bit. I had an ex who was dating new people and got into a new serious relationship after we broke up. It was very quickly after we broke up, but that's besides the point. Anyways, he had not deleted any of the photos of us from his Instagram. There were still photos of us like hugging and all these like very mushy gushy, Courtney is the love of my life captions. And he had been dating this new girl for like a long period of time. And would you believe it? He was still trying to reach out to me, trying to text me, trying to message me, still followed me on Instagram, even though he had a new girlfriend. So it's pretty obvious in that case that he wasn't over me and was just using her as a way to get over me, which I don't recommend, like I said, to anybody. It's one thing if you're just talking to someone and you're not really in a relationship with them, but if you're in a relationship with someone and they still have all all their photos up of their ex on their social media with like I said the thing that I went through he still had captions saying like I was the one and all this weird stuff and he's like dating someone new at the same time and still trying to talk to me behind her back it was very shady of course I didn't reply to any of it but it just I mean it's so obvious when they don't delete the photos they're still clinging on to some glimmer of hope and I will even say there's a feature now where you can archive a photo and not 100% delete it so if if you see their archives at some point and they have all their photos of their ex in their archives instead of deleting them they might be still clinging on to some hope there too but i just think it's very strange when people get into new relationships and still have all the photos of their ex on their profile as well i just feel like it's a little bit weird if i was the new person that he was dating i would have been like why the heck do you still have all these photos up saying that she's the love of your life when we're together now so i don't know just kind of weird but like i said it's probably going to depend a little bit more on you know what you're into your personal boundaries and all of that but i just think it's a huge red flag from personal experience i'm telling you he still had the photos up of me and was still actively trying to talk to me behind his new girlfriend's back. So something to consider. So guys, that is all I have for today. If you liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. Let me know in the comments down below what you think are some red flags and some surefire signs that you're a rebound or that she's not over her ex. I would love to hear your personal stories in the comments down below. Even though I hope that this has not happened to any of you, it's never a good feeling. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.